Convince her. Read this. Hey, looks like it's time for another Carmen Line short review. Welcome Sweet. to Payments Void, the only place where you can watch three cursed filmmakers reviewing short films. Carmen Line short review. Episode 100. 100. 100. Dang. That's a lot of episodes. It's funny because we actually watched 160 something films. We've watched well over 100 films. Yeah. yeah, so the way the math breaks down was that for the first, what, Half. 50 of those yeah, episodes? It was a lot about, of like them. For about 50 episodes, it was three. Short Shorts. films per episode. Right. Yeah. And then we switched to one per episode. So it's well over 100 short films. That's but right. 100 but episodes? 100 episodes. But 100 Today. episodes. Yeah. It's what insane. a journey it has been, wow. gentlemen. It's been great. What yeah. a journey. It's been great. We've watched a lot of great films, watched a lot of bad films. It. Yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. You're going to miss the uh, double digits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, there you go. Yeah, yeah. now we're into the, the double triple digits. digits. And I think we have a film to review today. I think That's we do. Right. What I is that? We do. Um, today is Gunderson's by Matt Porter, or directed by Matt Porter. Submitted by Timothy J. Cox. The one and only. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen the movie yet, click the link below, watch it, and now let's talk about it. Let's dig right into our first impressions, Canny. Mm. Uh, why don't you give us our first impressions? My first, first impressions... First impressions. Uh, Big production, fairly well executed. You know, there's filmmakers here who know what they're doing. There's, there's certainly production not everyone can do. Yes. Yeah. Um, and strong performances and funny content. Now the question is, do do all those great parts equal great movie? I say not quite. Um, mainly because it felt like there wasn't uh, enough of a a story here there wasn't really anything conclusive it didn't really say anything i didn't see the character go from any one place to another it was just kind of a funny thing that happened to a funny guy right and uh but it was fun and entertaining at the same time yeah i would uh generally agree um generally generally your uh your hood's up yeah i liked it i liked it I, we were menacing in the beginning i know that was cool but i wanted to put it you want, to, you want to stay menacing? Back, yeah, I, People I can't like see it. your boat. I'll Ooh. flip it up a little boat. bit. There we go. There, All you right. go. there you go. Now you're menacing boat. As yes. you were yeah. saying. Uh, generally agree. Uh, I think I really wanted to like... So my issue with this movie was that I feel like it didn't have a conclusive ending. Like I was really into it up until the very ending pretty much. Like I, I felt like it was going somewhere. Um, and I felt like we were building up to... A conclusion that never happened uh but i thought like you know him teaching the class like the kids had some pretty funny reactions yeah. and i yeah, found myself did. laughing out loud quite a few times uh even if it is kind of does get a little bit tiresome after some some time tiresome and tired of laughing yeah tired oh, yeah god i'm laughing so much it just hurts my face <laughs> 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 laughing gets rather boring eventually uh, uh, yeah <laughs> Um, my first impressions, uh, were very, very positive at the beginning. Um, I really, really dig movies like this in the beginning where everything was super clear from the get go. I really like knowing what I'm watching. Uh, liked it a lot. And then as it went on, there was, uh, it started getting a little boring. Um, there was some really f- funny content. The actors are great. Um, but then when we got to around Tim Cox's character, actually, it seemed like we were introducing an arc about halfway in. Right. And, and then it never really seemed to go anywhere. Uh, and so I was like, I, I, f- I ended the movie kind of thinking, I wish I had saw a story happen. Yeah, uh, I agree. Yeah. yeah, that's the missing piece in this story. A uh, story. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we could talk more about that when we get into that particular topic. Yes. That being said, should we? Uh, I believe that's the particular. Category? I think that's the particular topic. Is um, that where we're going to start? Yeah. With what? Writing. <laughs> hey, <Please>. <laughs> welcome back after the the card. <laughs> I, I get really uh, just tickled by that graphic. <laughs> Let's see it again. Wow, that's incredible. That's, I just love that it. Is... Let's do it one more time. Oh, that's great. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's. Beautiful. It's a beautiful yes, graphic. It's a beautiful I graphic. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. Anyway. Writing. Uh, writing. Okay. So it's all about uh, uh, getting that balance. 
<laughs> it's all about finding that. It's balance. all about finding that balance. <laughs> you see, I felt like um, I felt like there were like a couple different attempts at different stories here. Interesting. And that none of them, none of them had the spotlight, <laughs> right? So like we set up this Gundersons thing at the beginning, right? And then it ends up sort of mattering at the end because he gets fired because he has Gundersons, right? But, like, his symptom never really comes into play. They set it up like it's going to be, like, a, a comic re- repeating thing, right. right? And it doesn't really come into play. What the movie ends up primarily, you know, the weight of the movie is held up by these scenes of him in front of the classroom. Yeah. Which is funny content, but it feels like it's from a different story, from the Gunderson story. Yeah. And n- neither of them won out. Yeah. Uh, nor did they support one another, really. Or come to any conclusion. Right. Right. So, like, we had the setup, I felt, uh, for, like, two different stories. The other writing problem I'm seeing here is character development. Uh, r- usually, there's, there's a lot of films that get character development right and dialogue wrong. Like, dialogue is really, really hard to write. Absolutely. This yeah. guy wrote dialogue Great or group, I should yeah, say. Like this this group, writers. <laughs> this co-op four writers, yeah, of four writers, um, did really well with dialogue. I thought, which is a huge achievement in yeah. itself. But like, I just knew nothing about this main character other than he's like a dick to his doctor, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like if I'm a doctor and this guy's talking to me that way, I'm like, Get, I, yeah, I'm not paying you to be here, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> you can bounce, man. He's like, you're a terrible doctor. And I'm just like, am I supposed to hate this guy or like him? I, I didn't. To me, I, I had a really hard time with him. This bit was actually my favorite part this, of the yeah, whole movie. This was mine too. I thought the dynamic between these friends here was fantastic. I, I love that there's a little kid drinking beer with him. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was That's awesome. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um, uh, what? Well, I had a question. Well, this was a, a great scene. Yes. Uh, I had one question through the whole movie that was just nagging me, and that was, is Gunderson's in a permanent disease? Is there treatment for it? Does it just go away or what? Like, that's what I was wondering the whole right. time. Well, still, so this is where I think the writing was a little weird on the title. The title of the movie is Gunderson's, and I feel like that's a like a thematic thing throughout the whole thing. And I, feel, I almost feel like there's something super obvious that we're all missing right here, yeah. but I'm not sure exactly what that is. But uh, he has a disease. The movie's called this disease, but it's it's like we're there's a reoccurring theme throughout the movie that it should be something that we get, but I, I'm not getting that. Like a double meaning yeah. thing that we don't get. That we're just not getting. Because yeah. we're... Uh, we're not close to the substitute teaching community <laughs> or something. Maybe, something like that. I felt like this scene, actually in particular, that one where he veers off was a little foreshadow. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, maybe his twitch is going to go lead to something bad, but it didn't. Well, th- that's what the mo- the first scene <coughs> felt like we were setting up. Yeah. A movie about a guy who has a disease that gives him a twitch. That's right. like the that's what we were given, and right. then that just kind of got pushed It just got pushed completely away. Completely away. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of weird. It would have been cool to see, like, I keep thinking it starts becoming a drama in my head where it's like he gets this disease and then it, like, slowly unravels his <laughs> life around him, you know. But that could be done comedically as well. Right. Yeah, good. And yeah. so I was wondering. It'd be a neat dark comedy. Yeah. Like, that. what you're talking about, that clash of ideas. Yeah. Where it's like, what is this see, movie See, I saw really that about? idea, too, and I thought, oh, this could be, like, a super profound movie. Yeah. Right, like he gets fired because he has this disease, and and that disease is like a stand-in for m- any number of labels we put on people. Where we go, sure. ooh, you are X. We don't have X here right, right. at our school. Right, and then you lose your girlfriend, and you, the neighbors won't talk to you anymore. Yeah, right. Now that's that's a pretty profound idea, uh, but again, that got pushed to the side, and mm. we're now we're just basically doing Billy Madison. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Outside of him losing his job, of course. But that ultimately had no real consequence. Well, and that wasn't setting up for that, like you said, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it, like him him getting fired didn't really matter because we, cause we didn't care about that in the we first place. We didn't care, and he's a substitute teacher. So and he's a sub, he'll just right. just get another gig. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, 
his his performance of the stuff was really cool but he's yeah. great he is, does a he's really great. good performance but yeah and and like you said the dialogue was really good but yeah i think what we're just missing here is basically a three-act structure yeah i kind of felt like it was a a two-act movie that yeah. had a third act that was just n- omitted entirely um maybe one and a half who you're surprised to see timothy cox cast as the principal as the principal, the principal? yeah any anyone shocked <laughs> I'm I was super floored. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. funny is My I, mouth I was saw left to gape. <laughs> I saw him bald, and I was wondering if he did this around <laughs> the time of Gar- uh, Greg's his other one, Guardian, Guardian Angel. Angel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if he just or shaves his head, then he character. only applies to bald. Well, yeah, bald uh, <laughs> characters. <laughs> I don't know. He's he's channeling Principal Strickland. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Strickland. Strickland. <laughs> McFly. <laughs> oh man. Shall um, we move on slacker. to another category? Or we do have more Strickland to say about writing. Think this guy's a slacker. Big he time. is. He's a big slacker. He is a slacker. Why is there an open locker? So distracting. Um, I just wanted to say, just as as a I don't know a disclaimer, if if that was not halfway into the episode, that uh, we picked certain topics that are not really related to the technical aspect of the film because everything was produced really really well. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm just putting that out there. Right. So if, if you're sitting there going, why aren't they talking about my great cinematography? <laughs> right. It's at, at the end of watching the film, the three of us decide, okay, what three specific topics do we want to – are worth us really digging into? Really talking about, yeah. It means we have something to talk about, right? right? Um, and, you know, if your cinematography just sort of hits all the right bases, then – Nothing to talk we about. We don't really yeah. have to talk about it. If you do it exceptionally well or terribly, then we're going we'll to talk, talk about, about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alrighty, next one is acting. <laughs> You're so so happy. Oh, I love that that sound. It's so good. The graphic sound combination is yeah. just. It's great. It triggers endorphins. <laughs> As uh, ASMR. Uh, yep. Yeah. The, the, the hairs of my neck all stood up. Corman line. Ooh. Oh my God. KLSR. Wow. Oh. Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> wait did i trigger a seizure or <laughs> it's a little bit of a oh. stroke yeah i just had a stroke <laughs> okay um yeah so acting in here was all around excellent yeah oh yeah it yeah. really was this guy could be a dark elijah wood <laughs> yeah that's interesting yeah. evil elijah wood evil elijah. <laughs> yeah. like him the doctor everyone the, tim all the kids the even kids. the kids yeah. yeah how hard is it to get one good kid absolutely yeah. and you got a whole whole room for so a, yeah, a whole room for I, i've got to think some uh, a casting director was involved did you see a casting director in the credits uh let's check it out we got. We have, uh, you know, Ewan T- uh, Timothy Cox as Principal Cox. Yeah. Written, written by, by everyone in everybody. the world. <laughs> <laughs> the music was cool. Yeah, I did like the music. Way to go, Alan. And the color was good. The color was good. Sound, ooh, not so much. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, no casting. No casting. I mean, anyways, uh, it felt like a lot of attention was put into casting. It did. Um, very strong cast. Even the the four guys in the one scene in the woods. Yeah, in the woods. Yeah, in the woods. I mean, these are guys. Their their scene is a minute two. Right. Short. You know, it's really short. And, and I, I liked all of them. Yeah, yeah I did <laughs> like too. these guys were cast in roles <coughs> that fit. The like it really worked. Like, I wonder if all this was SAG. SAG people. Yeah. If all of them were. I love well, that guy with that the L the hat on. And he's like, yeah, but Cirque du Soleil is good, though. It's really good. <laughs> I'd like to see a whole movie of that group in the woods. Yeah. yeah. Just doing stuff. Yeah, I could watch 30 <laughs> minutes of their banter. <laughs> yeah. No, no, totally. Dude, that would be great. Misadventures of, like, those four of people, those guys. Those yeah, four guys. and the little kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they never address the fact that, that he's, he's like, 12. Right. Yeah, he's just <laughs> right. treated as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> um, the main character, his performance... Um, though maybe maybe writing wise his character development is like not super fleshed out but uh his performance made me really believe him as a person me too like, i totally believed everything he was doing and the way he carries himself the way he dresses the way he uses his words all yeah. that kind of stuff like maybe totally believe that he was a real person yeah this this reminds me of uh in a bad way um 
in a bad way yeah i know i'm sorry uh what's what's the film that we just saw with the assassin oh do you remember a short film i yeah. know exactly what it's called it yeah. was called solutions solutions so in solutions uh, oh yeah that one the yeah. assassin's guy had this this uh I, I felt like a like a like a like a film over his uh clarity of acting it was like a film of self uh what do you call it? Self awareness. Self awareness. Yeah. Which guy? The uh, the the assassin. The assassin dude. Yeah. yeah. The the father. Yeah. It felt like everything he was saying was like Bill Murray, where he always knows what he's saying, and he's very very self aware. But Bill Murray does it in a very overt way, whereas yeah. this guy was just saying lines, and it felt like he he never was the character. It felt like he was always a guy playing the character. Um, and in here, yes, it feels like it's super clear. You know, like I I could have turned this on TV. You know, and been like, oh, hey, th- th- this is this is a real thing. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. So uh, he, this movie does not do the film issue that you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, where it doesn't feel like they're self-aware. Right, it does not feel. Like Which is refreshing because I feel like not only do we get a lot of movies that are overly self-aware, and but just in in pop culture in general, I think this era of time is very ironic and self-aware, and it gets. Well, that's a, a thing. Annoying. It's yeah. like a, it's a thing of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's refreshing to see a movie like this that is is a comedy but right. isn't it's so. Dude, every yeah. modern that has genuity. Play, yeah, it has genuity. Wow. Every modern play for kids, everyone, anyone who's writing plays today that are for kids, is filled with sarcasm and and wink wink break fourth wall make yeah. reference to some pop culture thing. Yeah. And it, it's driving me nuts. Yeah. It's just driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah. I get yeah. tired of that kind of thing. Yeah. That's why just we talk t- about Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> yes. Which Speaking means, of. Which does we, both that's of our those next, things. Uh, our next subject is Metal Gear Solid. Uh, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go into our next uh, subject. What's up next? Production. Oh. Yeah. This is a good one. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. So let's count the locations here, right? Okay, yeah. doctor's office. Road. House. Room. Oh, wait, inside. Inside. Yeah. Uh, Woods. Woods. Outside of school. Outside the inside school. Inside of school. Inside the school. Hallway. Other school. Cafeteria. Yeah, cafeteria. We're to nine. I think that's, We're nine. I think Jeez. that's it. Yeah, that's it. Jeez. Nine locations, D. <laughs> that's a lot, man. That's quite a that's quite a production. So, Not yeah. to mention a big cast. Yeah, and the the logistics of getting the classroom and filling it with kids right. and getting all those writers to cooperate <laughs> to, with to write the movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's a production in itself. It's a writers' so, room. You, you were saying uh, about getting like the permission of each of the kids parents yeah i'm like how yeah. hard, not only to get a bunch of kids who will play along for a whole bunch of takes and right. actually act and like be invested in it right but also kids whose parents are cool with them being in a movie where some actor is going to be talking about drugs and sex and using the f word a ton right right like you had to work hard to make this room happen i know <laughs> right. that yeah right <laughs> that that just that wasn't something you throw together on a weekend yeah, yeah. as a super low budget like thing that you know isn't like 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 parents are more lenient about that kind of like inappropriate if stuff it's super if it's big really big super right? big production yeah. so it's like if you're nobody you're trying to convince all these parents that yeah you should let my kids uh be in taylor this. thinks you're a nobody <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry um, you might be famous i don't know the, uh, i didn't say that I'm the on amount your side. the amount of knowledge here in production alone like in this film since there's so many locations so yeah. many people it does it does make me think that this person's pretty well seasoned and it makes me wonder why they made this film in the first place um, why'd you make this film no hey we're not right, there right, we're not there yet what inspires you stop who are you we're not there yet <laughs> <laughs> um did you guys see the the word uh behind him uh, health how it changed the, the first oh. day it says health right it says health but then it it changes to Gunderson. So. No, it changes to, to health again, but it's just written differently. I just thought it was funny. Oh, because it's two different days. Uh, on the same day? 
I don't know. See, like right here. A continuity error? And then right there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. D. How how are we praising this production? I know. No, this is a disaster. It's a disaster of a film now. <laughs> That's a huge continuity huge. error. Huge. Oh, no. It's bad oh, now. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I've done that. I thought it was cute. Don't I've never done that. You lie. <laughs> I've actually, fun fact. I've never made a continuity error. Because your films don't have continuity. <laughs> yeah, you're an experimental <laughs> filmmaker, so continuity doesn't matter. I made a documentary once. Documentaries don't need and continuity, continuity either. <laughs> Did you ever make a commercial? I have done that. And I... Uh, actually, I have made continuity errors in my experimental films. Yes, you films. have. Ooh, You've yeah. made errors in your experimental yeah. films. Yeah. You made a. You worked on a f uh, commercial called Classic Gold, and there's a rock cairn in it, and it changes in the movie. Ooh. I <laughs> hate shot that. Shot. You screwed up. I hate that. That was your call. Uh, wasn't me. What? Wasn't me. Oh. So I have cinematographer. That just leaves the director. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wasn't me. Actually, I think I directed that one. You did direct it. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Taryn. That was bad. It was Taryn. It was Taryn. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's not waste our time talking about our previous life <laughs> when we were outside of... When we had freedom. Yeah. What Ooh, are we talking about? Movie! Production. The Gundersons. This movie the was Gundersons. produced... Thank you. <laughs> this movie did not organically uh, right, organize yeah. itself. No, yeah. just it didn't just like form out of a a, a a primordial film soup. It was artificially coordinated. Okay, so uh, this is the part of the show <laughs> selection where we start yes. uh, asking questions to the filmmaker themselves. Oh, now? Yeah. Um. So, dear viewers, what are your inspirations? Yeah, nope, not yet. So, viewers who are not the filmmaker. If Who? you would... Like us? I'm talking to the camera. We're asking questions now. We're asking questions nope, now. Nope, nope, what are your inspirations? Nope, nope, Okay, so if you're the viewer, okay, if you're if you're watching this right now and you're not the filmmaker, you can uh, ask your own questions uh, in the comments below. And you can also leave comments about whether or not we were right or wrong or, you know, tell us to go fuck ourselves. Ooh. So now, question time for Alan, right? Yep. Matt, sorry. Matt, yep. For Matt, we can ask Alan too if we want. Sure. <laughs> you all right? What are your inspirations? <laughs> Who inspires you as a filmmaker? <laughs> Why did you make this film? <laughs> How? <I'm> sorry. <clears throat> How did you get a classroom filled with children? Nice job. I like Thanks. that. Yeah. Oh, very That's nice. funny. Very nice. That was funny. We're funny people. Funny. We're great. Uh, -huh. yeah. uh um uh Good. <laughs> wait, 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 guys. Huh? We have to keep talking about this movie or else we're going to teleport back into non-existence. We don't know that. No, we haven't we, haven't we don't know that. We haven't, we, haven't, we haven't asked all the questions yet. Okay. Uh uh Matt um Yeah, what'd you make it? How'd you get this <laughs> cast? Yeah. Especially the kids. What, was your, what was your cat? No, you said, how did you get a classroom <laughs> full of children? And it's the same like, thing. And he's like, well, I, I filled it with children. <laughs> That's know? not how you do That's it. It's not casting. That's the method. Um, casting. How um, did you get this awesome cast? What was your process? How hard was it to find all these kids, especially? How long did it take to shoot? And how was your lighting set up? Because, my God. Hey, that lighting? Damn. I already asked my question. Don't you got to ask something else, otherwise Why? You, something might happen. I asked a question already. What's gonna happen, D? I don't know. Can't ask one question. Are we, are we done? Uh, well, we can keep talking about it. I don't want to teleport. Uh, are you sure that'll happen again? No, it just makes. I mean, it just happened once, and now we have to wear these funny clothes. But that doesn't mean we still don't get like.